In this video, I'll be discussing about PCA cycle. Now, as you can see that pyruvate, which comes from the glycolysis, in this step, in the very first step, it will be converted to acetyl coenzyme A. Now, this coenzyme A will be attached to the acetyl to the pyruvate. So, this CO2 will go out and here to this part coenzyme A will be attached. So, this will become acetyl coenzyme A and this reaction takes place with the help of pyruvate dehydrogenase. Pyruvate dehydrogenase is the enzyme that is going to catalyze this reaction. In this NAD plus is converted to NADH and H plus. In the first step of TCA cycle, so now pyruvate is converted to acetyl coenzyme A and this is now going to enter into the TCA cycle. So this is the first step of TCA cycle. Now in this what is happening is oxaloacetate will be converted to citrate by addition of acetyl coenzyme A. In this water molecule will also be added and this reaction will be catalyzed by citrate synthase. Now you need to pay attention to the color combination that this, these two carbons have come from acetyl coenzyme A and all this part has come from oxaloacetate and they combine together to form citrate. This is the first step of TCA that is tricarboxylic acid cycle. In the next step, citrate is converted to isocitrate. Now in this nothing, no molecule exchange takes place but citrate will be converted to isocitrate and this reaction takes place with the help of aconitase enzyme. So let us see what is the difference between the structure of this? So here in citrate there is OH, here it is H molecule whereas the position of the OH has changed here. Okay, So this is isocitrate and this is citrate. This reaction takes place with the help of aconitase enzyme. This is the second reaction of TCA cycle. The third step of TCA cycle is oxidative decarboxylation. So as you can see here carbon dioxide is coming out. So this is decarboxylation, oxidative decarboxylation. In this isocitrate is converted to alpha ketoglutarate. You can see that this CO2 has come out. So this is oxidative decarboxylation reaction and this takes place with the help of isocitrate dehydrogenase. This enzyme is going to catalyze the reaction. Isocitrate is converted to alpha ketoglutarate. In this process NAD plus is converted to NADH and H plus. So in the next step, that is the fourth step, alpha ketoglutarate is converted to succinyl coenzyme A. Now as you can see, coenzyme A is been added to alpha ketoglutarate. So it gets added over here and this CO2 will be liberated. This is again oxidative decarboxylation kind of reaction and NADH. NAD plus gets converted to NADH and H plus. This reaction is catalyzed by alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase enzyme. This results into formation of succinyl coenzyme A. Okay, let us see what is happening in the fifth step. Now here succinyl coenzyme A is getting converted to succinate but in the process 
GDP plus PI will get converted to GTP. So it is making energy in this step. So this is phosphorylation kind of reaction. So as this is happening at the substrate level, it can also be called as substrate level phosphorylation. This reaction is catalyzed by succinyl coenzyme A synthetase. So it is going to form succinate. After this, there is dehydrogenase kind of reaction in which 2H will be taken out and it is going to form fumarate. As 2H are taken out from uh, this succinate, as you can see if this H will come out, this H will come out. So there will be C double bond O between these two C's. So it is going to form fumarate and this reaction will be catalyzed by succinate dehydrogenase enzyme as this is dehydrogenation kind of enzyme in which hydrogen is taken out and that is the sixth step of TCA cycle. The next step that is the seventh step is hydration reaction that means addition of water molecule. Now, if you look at the structure of fumarate and malate, here OH is added and H is added here. So that is addition of water molecule. When water is added to the fumarate, it will get converted to malate. And this reaction takes place with the help of fumarase enzyme. Now, after this malate, gets converted to oxaloacetate and how is this reaction going to take place with the help of malate dehydrogenase as you can see one H molecule is taken out from here and one H molecule is taken out from here so it will be con given to NAD plus and it will get converted to NAD H plus H plus so it is going to get converted to oxaloacetate now this oxaloacetate is again going to come into the cycle that is why it is called as TCA cycle that again uh, acetyl coenzyme A and oxaloacetate will combine with the help of citrate synthase it will form citrate and the cycle will go on. So this is the TCA cycle that we have studied. If you look carefully, you will understand that whenever there is dehydrogenase enzyme, NAD plus is converted to NADH plus H plus. So that is the role of the dehydrogenase enzyme. And energy is generated in this reaction. GTP is produced. NADH plus H plus are produced. So that is how energy is generated. This is the overall TCA cycle.